After scaring a senseless in The Conjuring 2, the demonic nun is back to wreak some more unholy havoc in a 1950s origin story. Yippee ki movie lovers, it's Jan here, and today I'm going to take you behind the scenes of the latest film in The Conjuring franchise, and reveal some freaky facts and intriguing secrets about the making of The Nun. If you're finding me for the first time, be sure to subscribe to get all my regular videos, plus more upcoming Nun and horror videos. Seeing your name pop up in the credits for a super popular horror franchise must be fun, but four members of the Nun's movie crew made sure they also got their faces on screen in one of the freakiest ways possible. Director Corinne Hardy, cinematographer Maxime Alexandra, producer Michael Clear and first AD Harry Boyd all had casts made of their faces, and those casts were then used to create death masks which appear on the tombs and wall during the scenes set in the Abbey's tomb room. Certainly a rather eerie way to have your face immortalised on film. When it came to getting the right look for the blood on the Abbey's steps, director Corin Hardy was so particular that he took the matter into his own hands. Hardy grabbed a bucket of fake blood and splashed it on the steps and added some finishing touches to give it an even more gruesome and realistic appearance. But Hardy's bloody work on the movie didn't end there, as he also took time to practice spitting blood with his cast to make sure it worked properly and looked good on camera. Not content with merely bringing the supernatural to life on screen, Hardy says he also had a real-life ghostly encounter of his own while filming the nun in the spooky underground tunnels of an abandoned Romanian fort. The experience happened during rehearsals for a sinister scene set in a 200-foot-long corridor of crosses. As the cast and crew ran through the scene in the tunnels, Hardy watched the action on a monitor in a dark, isolated room. When he entered the room, the director said hello to what he thought were a couple of crew sitting in there. Then he sat down with his back to them and watched the monitor for a good while. Happy with how the complicated tracking shot had gone, Hardy turned around to chat with the two men, but they were no longer there and neither were their chairs. To add to the creepiness, there was no way out of the room other than the one door which is right next to Hardy. Although the director describes himself as a skeptic deep down, he says he thinks they were the ghosts of Romanian soldiers checking in on him, making sure he did a good shot. Incredibly, given her lead roles in both the Nun and TV series American Horror Story, Thaisa Farmiga has confessed that she really doesn't like being scared and so isn't a fan of horror movies. In fact, despite several attempts, she just cannot finish watching The Conjuring, which stars her sister Vera. And when she first watched The Nun, she did so in a fully lit screening room with her boyfriend by her side, and even then she often felt the need to cover her eyes and ears. Originally, according to Corin Hardy, he was looking for an actress from England or elsewhere in Europe to play the part of Sister Irene. And actually, until he saw Thaisa's audition tape, Hardy says he wasn't at all keen on casting her, simply because her sister plays Lorraine Warren in the Conjuring movies. Funnily enough, Thaisa received the script from the nun while she was at dinner with Vera, and Vera advised Thaisa not to bring work home with her while she was filming the movie, but rather to try to separate herself from all the stress and the horror and leave that on set in order not to let the supernatural stuff get to her. Thaisa used meditation and breathing exercises to avoid focusing on the fact that at night she was all alone in a hotel room in Romania. And that did help until many weeks into the shoot when she let her guard down after filming scenes on the water tank set, and then she did have nightmares. As if the Abbey's blood-spattered steps weren't quite creepy enough already, production designer Jennifer Spence has revealed that some of the local Romanian artisans she hired to construct those huge stone steps were sculptors, and they carved various things into the stone, including the word sinners, which the blood drips into. The filmmakers used those steps to create a new faux entrance at the back of Corvin Castle in Romania, where these exterior scenes of the Abbey were shot. And the castle owners liked the new addition so much, including its carefully crafted replicas of the castle walls, that they asked the filmmakers to leave the set behind so tourists could visit it. Curiously, Romanian actress Ingrid Bisu, who plays Sister Oana, very nearly experienced real life living in a convent, as she considered becoming a nun when she was younger. And before she started filming The Nun, the actress visited several monasteries and spent hours on end sitting in silence to get herself in the right headspace for her role. On top of that, before shooting a scene, she often listened to prayers through her earphones. 
Believe it or not, if director James Wan hadn't decided to do reshoots for The Conjuring 2, the franchise's demonic nun might never have existed. Originally, the film's antagonist was going to be a horned demon, but after Wan spoke with the real Lorraine Warren who talked about being haunted by a hooded figure, the director came up with the idea of the demonic nun because he wanted something that would attack Lorraine's faith in the movie. The reshoots happened a mere three months before the movie was due to open, and the rest is horror movie history. Now if you've seen the movie, what did you think of it, and what were your best and worst moments from the film? Let me know in the comments below, and you can also tweet me. Tap left to check out my Nun Ending and Twist Explained video, or tap right for more horror movie videos. And if you enjoyed this, a like would be amazing, and a share would also be really appreciated. Thanks for watching, and see you next time, yippee ki movie lovers!